What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Queenland Farms. Today, we are taking the fermented plant juice that we made in the previous episode, and we are straining it out, and we are going to actually utilize it to fertilize our garden. strainer. This is a fine mesh sieve. This is just like a bowl. And then we're going to be putting it in some glass jars. Alright, so we're actually, this is a little small. We're going to swap to this. Oh, it's so yummy. All that juice coming out right there. And drip. Slow stream. That right there is what we're looking for. Oh yeah. Look at that. Squeeze and squeeze. And don't worry, if there's any left over, we're gonna be adding this to our compost. And if you really wanted, you could actually put this in a cheese bag, some cheesecloth, or like a, um, a jelly bag or a nut bag. We're making nut milk. And you can actually just let this hang overnight and it'll get all of the juice out of here. We're not too concerned with it because, like I said, we're just going to add it to our compost pile. And we make this so often that we're never actually lacking. Remember, we didn't add any water to this. All this juice is from the plant. All this liquid is from the plant. This is all the fertilizer that we're looking for. All the biology and the microbes that are in this. Ugh. All right, we're just gonna let this sit until it is done draining all the way through. So what we are left with is our beautiful fermented plant juice. And we are just gonna add it to our mason jar. Making careful we don't spill. Being careful we don't spill? <laughs> there we go. Make sure we get all the thick sugary part in there because that's going to be the food for the microbes as we use this. And this has a very, very long shelf life, like 15 years, something like that, which you should use this way before that. You don't want to screw this down all the way. You want the lid to be breathable. So come on, there we go. So we go down and then we back it up probably a half turn so that it's loose. There is our fermented plant juice. Now this, you mix one to 1,000 parts water. So I usually just take this and just like maybe a tablespoon-ish into my watering can and you can't over fertilize with this. Like you could literally take this whole jar and pour it on one of your plants, and as long as it's not a seedling, even if it is a seedling, it'll probably be just fine. Because this is just beneficial organic microbes that are already present in your soil and on your plants. So all we're doing is we are adding more of them to the soil to help make the nutrients in the soil more readily available. And if you missed how we started this process or why you want to add more microbial life, and bacteria to your soil then go ahead and check out the link up here and i'll also leave a link down in the description below so that you can see how to start this whole process it's super easy and only takes a few days and it'll last you your whole season and you can do it multiple times and like i said this stuff has a super 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 long shelf life as long as you store it in a cool dark 
place and we have our own fermentation station that we store all of our ferments in and that's where this is going to go make sure you label it and date it that way you don't forget what it is because even if you tell yourself you're not going to let's be honest we're probably gonna forget because i know i do anyways thank you so much for hanging out with me on this quick short update today i will see you guys in the next one